Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the differences between phases of compiler versus passes of compiler. And later on, we'll be discussing about differences between phases of assembler versus passes of assembler, guys. Okay. So these are the most commonly asked two marks questions in most of the examinations. Okay. Okay. So first, let us go through phases of a compiler, guys, versus passes of compiler. So basically, in detail, we'll be discussing about all the phases of compiler in the next lecture, guys. So for now, we'll be just understanding the differences. Okay. Okay. So basically, I hope everyone remembers the diff what is a pass, right? Yes. So basically, phases are nothing but if this is the whole process of compilation. Okay. So this uh, compilation is divided into multiple phases, guys. So basically, by doing multiple phases we will be getting the final output guys that is nothing but from our source code to our target code okay okay so the process of compilation is carried out in a various steps each step is called as a phase of a compiler okay that's what i told you right yes similarly passes of compiler so basically passes of compiler is nothing but if this is your compiler how many times your code will be going through that compiler is nothing but the passes of compiler the total number of times the compiler goes through the source code before converting it into the machine code is nothing but the passes of the compiler guys okay similarly if you just go through different phases of compiler so these are the six phases of compiler guys lexical analysis syntax analysis semantics analysis intermediate code generation code optimization and code generation Okay, guys, we'll be discussing about each and everything in detail in the next lecture and later on in the subject also, we'll be going through one after the other guys, like we'll be discussing about each and every topic in detail guys. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay, so passes of compiler are nothing but there are a single pass or multi pass guys. Okay, okay. So now let us go through the differences between passes and phases of assembler guys okay okay so phases of assembler so phases of an assembler defines the overall processes process of translation of assembly language program into machine language so basically the phases are nothing but the same story which we we'll discussed in compiler the assembler is also divided into multiple phases guys so those phases are nothing but analysis phase and synthesis phase guys okay okay so i hope now everyone got a clear idea about the faces similarly passes so how many times it is going again the pass defines the part of the total translation task to be performed during one scan of the source program and its equivalence so there can be any number of passes that is nothing but one to n okay okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about the differences between the faces and passes of compiler as well as the assembler okay Okay, so in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about the process of a translation that is nothing but the faces of the compiler, guys. Okay, okay, so let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you, thanks for watching.